Hi everyone, it's the English Simmer here and welcome to a very special DLC. I'm so excited to play this. If you didn't know, if you haven't heard me go on about it for the last few weeks, Steph Gingrich from Life is Strange Before the Storm and also Life is Strange True Colors, aka Alex's girlfriend who we have just spent like five chapters romancing, spoiler alert, if you haven't seen my True Colors playthrough, you should probably go watch that before we hop into this DLC. Also, I would like to first off give a disclaimer, okay? Because I feel like you're gonna think I've cut my hair on purpose. That is not the case. I did put on a beanie because I was like, okay, hey, Steph, we have to wear a beanie. And then it kind of turned into a cosplay that wasn't really meant to be a cosplay, like a budget Steph Gingrich cosplay because mum threw a random haircut on me yesterday and now I look like I've literally copied Steph's hair. So I would just like it to be known I didn't get this cut specifically because of Steph. But now we're just gonna run with it. And I've decided to go the whole hog with, I mean, I always, I always wear the headphones, but the beanie as well. I'm just very excited to play as my little lesbian, canon lesbian in a video game. I love her. I'm sure you all know. Let's get into it. So from what I've read, I've tried to avoid like all spoilers of this DLC, but I think it's around four hours. Knowing me, I can definitely make it last longer than four hours, which I'm happy about because I love Steph that much. However, I will be uploading this in two different parts. So you're watching the first part now, we're gonna do two seasons and then we're gonna play through the next two seasons in tomorrow's part of Wavelengths. And from that, feel like a slight spoiler. I feel like we may we may be seeing some familiar faces, which is honestly very exciting for me. I really, really hope that we see them. Life is strange wavelengths. This is so exciting. Steph has her own DLC, man. So a lot of it is gonna take, I'm, I kind of hope that we can still walk around Haven Springs, but a lot of it is gonna take place obviously in, the Rocky Mountain record store. I need to turn this up. <gasps> that jacket is sick. Steph, uh, Gingrich, is that how you say it? Yeah, that's right. What kinds of radio have you done before? God, let's see. What haven't I done? College radio, small town station, did a couple podcasts. Lots she's of live mixing so for my cool. band. Oh, she's so cool, man. Oh, okay. So you know your way around an audio booth. <laughs> that shot's in the trailer. It makes me laugh every single time I see it. Yeah, totally. <laughs> your friend did tell me you were overqualified for this job. I just assumed he was, you know. Big and Gabe. Up. Right. <laughs> oh. Well, look, if you can handle it without much supervision, the job's yours. Awesome. Now, part of your responsibilities would be managing the record store. Given all your retail experience on your resume, I'm sure that won't be a problem. Oh, right. Yeah, no problem at all. Great. So your friend said you quit your band to be here. Can I ask why? Drugstore makeup, man. Sorry. Maybe that's too personal. No, it's fine. Um, no big reason. I'm just trying to... Oh, get over a breakup, do something cool, or step back a little. Are you kidding me? You're just gonna throw, throw me in there, like, straight under the bus? I mean, we did break up with Izzy, um... Get over a breakup, step by. You know what? Let's be honest. Okay. There was a breakup involved. Ah. <laughs> so I wanted a change of scenery. A new job in a gorgeous place. Well, I hope we live up to expectations. Haven Springs is no Seattle. I think I'll love it. 
So this is set before True Colors. For those of you who are coming into this, like, not knowing anything, obviously, Gabe okay. is still alive. The manager left me a task list for my first day. So that's probably around here somewhere. Okay. Oh, you have the dipping bird. So we have the phone. Sticky dinos. Bet I could get these to stick to the bulletin board from here. I want to try it. I feckin' love a sticky dino. Are you kidding me? I used to get so many of them. There was like these machines, you know, that you put your money in and then it just like gives you a random toy. There was one of those in the swimming baths that I used to go to weekly as a child and they had so many of these sticky toys. Pretty sure the only other time I've used a landline was to call my cell phone. What are you supposed to be? It looks like an eagle miner? I don't know, bubble it. Are you the Haven High mascot? Oh. Uh could be the lighting is so cool are you kidding me this is so professional i actually need to First get to these is find the task list these sound panels i know elgato has started selling them so i definitely need to get my hands on some um i think the task list is the only thing left to look at but i just want to have a gander you know i just want to see uh What's going on? What's on the what's on the board? Pick up Gabe's bike, clear back room, open mic something. Um try something peak, KRCT, Haven Springs Spring Fest 2018. So yes, this is set the year before Alex actually comes to Haven Springs, because that was 2019. Life is so strange! F off, they have a little freaking sticky note that said life is so strange. That's adorable. Find slip mats. Do you smell piss? Moths. Does that say moths? Lewis Denver, 918. Um, that's so cool. Ah, oh, Typhon. Ugh, disgusting. Get them out of here. Absolutely Great. rank. Here's the list. Steph, welcome to your first shift. Sorry I can't be there. Here are the basics. Introduce yourself, use the computer to play the auto DJ, read all ads on air. Ad copy is on the desk. It's very unlikely, but some folks might call in. This probably goes without saying, but if someone calls, answer. Good luck, Beatrice. I love the name Beatrice. Are you kidding me? That's such a sweet name. Introduce myself on air. Huh. Let's give this a shot. <laughs> this is so exciting. One of these buttons is the mic switch. Need to turn this on first. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's turn on the mic. And introduce What's yourself. What's up, Kind Haven listeners? Steph here. Uh, the new DJ. Let's go for the Your new, new DJ. DJ at KRCT? Live every Monday, Wednesday, like, and Friday. Even the levels and, uh, move? Maybe more in the future. We've got some great music coming up for you. So uh, keep it here. You're listening to KRCT. <gasps> Katie killed well, it! I promised great music. So next up, check out the playlist. Katie has a really... I know this is sometimes taken as an insult. And I do not mean it to be... Like... She has the she has the voice for radio, man. Like Katie has such a good voice for radio. Are you kidding me? Um, Katie, if you don't know, is the voice actor for Steph. I want to look at the I want to look at the lava lamp. Once I say my name on air, there's no going back. You've already said it now. You've already already done it. Okay. Something tells me. You and I are going to be seeing a lot of each other. I just want to hear everything. All right, what's going on? This is Haven's number one indie rock playlist. Pretty sparse. There's five? Five songs on the whole playlist? Are you kidding me? Today's music, playlist schedule, import music, national top 50 locked, new releases locked, settings account upgrade to pro. They don't even have a pro program on it. Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness. Why? It'll do, I guess. Oh my God, Steph is going to pump so much money into Hello. this bad boy. Sorry, computer DJ. It's my turn now. 
Yes, Steph. She's cracking out the records. So we have Paint Me Silver, Fall Asleep by Big Joni Sisters, Marabou State Portraits, or Talking Distance. Oh, this reminds me of Arcadia, so I kind of want to go for it. I really like this cover though. Mm, do we go for the sisters? I think I'm gonna go, uh, we can't hear it anyway, unfortunately, because I have licensed music turned off. So we'll go for Talking Distance. Let's play that. It's just a lighthouse, reminds me of Arcadia, and I can't resist it. Sunbeam Sound Shaking Machine. Shaking things up already, Gingrich. Noise. Okay, I am gonna... We can hear some audio, so I'm just scared, so I'm just gonna Maybe turn I can it play down. a few more songs today. This is the only bad thing no, about I'm having... to read some ad copy. That must be around here too? About having a game so dependent on music. Great song. That new DJ really has the stuff. <laughs> She's just complimenting herself. Oh wait, no, I didn't want to walk away. Just walk away. Oh, we're gonna have a com. I can't think of the word. I was gonna, I was gonna comp complative. Is that is that a word? Are you gonna contemplate life right now? Oh, she's vibing, man. She's loving it. She's loving the beats, if she does say so herself. I thought she was gonna talk. That's a cool lamp. I really like that lamp. But yeah, I really uh, thought Steph was gonna, she was gonna have a little bit of chat. Stephanie, this is not like you. Usually you have so many words in that little brain of yours. I now officially listen to sweet tunes for a living. Take that, auto DJ. <laughs> uh, I love how big headed she is though as well. It's one of my favorite things about Steph. Like her and Chloe, you can definitely see them getting along because of like how cocky they both kind of were. Okay, they want me to riff on these bullet points. So I should probably study them a little first. KRCT sponsors from the 25th of March to the 31st of March. The Black Lantern, talk up the BL, include the following. Authentic atmosphere, good food. Thanks, Jed. <laughs> Put to work, Colorado.com. Putting Coloradans to work since 2002. Key points, smooth, intuitive job portal. Licensed career experts match candidates with positions used by leading companies in technology and entertainment. Free trial with promo code KRCT. Avalanche Ice Cream. New to downtown Haven Springs, Avalanche Ice Cream was founded by husband and wife team Sonny and Angela Avalanche. Over 50 flavors, including classics like chocolate, vanilla, etc., and a, a new flavor experiments like candy corn, sweet molasses, and crab ragoon. No, please don't call us that. Our last name is Anderson. <laughs> oh, I love them both. We got to know them a little bit throughout True Colors. They, they were out here being inspired by Steph, which was really, really cute. Okay, let's read our ads. Um, we'll go for the ice cream first. Here's a new local business to get excited about. Avalanche ice cream in downtown Haven Springs. The variety of flavors they've got is going to blow your freaking mind. <laughs> Experiments. You think I'm kidding? These guys have, and I hope you're sitting down. She did crab it! Crab Rangoon flavored ice cream. Just saying. They crossed out. So come off. on down to Avalanche Ice Cream and get yourself a scoop from our good pals. I'm gonna go for Avalanche. Sunny and Angela Avalanche. Explorers of the uncharted reaches of ice cream experience. <gasps> oh Ooh. my god. I need a break. I'll just step away from the desk for a sec. What do you mean you need a break? You've done one thing. Steph, why are you like this? Use B to leave the booth. I kind of want to read them all though. This is Haven's Yeesh. Ooh. Looks like I got here just in time. I didn't see this bit. KRCT programming, to whom it may concern. I appreciate that Haven Springs has its 
as its disposal a resource as special as KRCT. Not every town can boast its own independent radio station. However, your programming leaves a lot to be desired. On Saturday, during what was supposed to be your classic rock block, you played Lonesome Ranch three times in a row. Lonesome Ranch is not a classic rock song. It's a 60 year old country western single. And three times in a row, did the DJ fall asleep? Please consider bringing in some new blood. Anyone who can name a release from the last 30 so years will do. Best Leslie Cole. I feel like her I name may should have be no Karen. Clue what I'm doing, but the good news is maybe no one is listening anyway. <gasps> oh, they've hit like. They've they've hit like ten listeners, listeners per block. Literally, want to improve your rating? Here's a tip: listeners love a DJ personality they can relate to. This is why she's gonna start playing D and D on air and shit like that. Everyone in this town is so nerdy. We can banter. I'm gonna be shaking up the playlist a bit here at KRCT, so get your ears ready for some fresh tunes, and keep it here. Yes, Steph. I wonder if she just says the same thing. Okay, we're gonna do the Black Lantern. And now, a message from one of KRCT's sponsors, the Black Lantern. Here in Haven, the Black Lantern is known for... Uh, historical decor. The historical decor. Where else can you feast under a used pickaxe and a literal bullet hole? <laughs> That's right. Nowhere. <laughs> That's and how you get people the in. Food. Try the lanterns. Oh, good. Uh, top notch burgers. Top notch burger game. Best burgers for 20 miles in any direction. Bar none. Okay. Stop by the Black Lantern today and tell them Steph sent you. Nice. She's going to have her own promo code by the end of it. Okay, let's go for the last one. Um, read ad. Wait, what? We have to use the microphone, don't we? Do we? I don't know. I thought we just read ad. Is it not been long enough? Are we not allowed to do them all? This year's spring festival is right around the corner. So, uh, see Eleanor at the flower shop for volunteer opportunities. Bless her! You can just, like, hear her, like, looking at her notes, like, remember it, remember it, remember it. You got this. You're listening to KRCT, Haven's best and only choice for modern rock it is quite literally the only radio station we're coming into allergy season kind haven listeners don't really have anything else to say about that <laughs> this is a banter steph stop that right now if you can hear my voice right now you are listening to krct lucky you how many banters do they have time for a weather update haven <laughs> she just constantly well, talking uh, it was pretty nice when i came into work today this has been a weather update <laughs> do you kind haven listener why is there so many by the weight of the world look on the bright side here's some more music on krct okay i'm gonna i'm gonna leave that for now can we read another ad? Put Colorado Let's to work. Let's hear from one of our sponsors. PutToWorkColorado.com has been putting Coloradans to work since 2002 using their job portal, career experts, super slick job portal. Seriously, I'm not even going to tell you how it works. It's that easy to use. But Steph, you say, I'm a unique artisan with a highly specialized skill set. No way they'll have a job for me. To which I say, not with that attitude. And just for my listeners, get a free trial membership with promo code KRCT. Ugh, she's so awkward. Why can I only use the lamp literally when I'm like reading something? That's honestly homophobic. I want to turn on the lamp. Okay, we'll leave the booth I've for a little bit. I've been meaning to fill out my dating app profile. Ooh! Go on, Steph. What you on? Are we on her? Hinge? Tinder? Steph Hopefully. Gingrich. This is your life. Not plenty of fish. 
Uh, Steph Sheha, 24, Haven Springs, Colorado. She's wearing plaid! She's like, no, I definitely want you to know I'm a lesbian. So I will, uh, I will put my plaid shirt on for this. Introduce yourself on the mic, use computers, audio DJ, read all ads, take a break. Okay, tagline. What would you like to add as your tagline? A lyric, something informative or something jokey. I think jokes are a good way to go, but also like I want to go for something informative. Musician, gamer, cat lover, impulsive traveler, gay disaster, aspiring DJ. Yes. Next. Gotta out myself as a media snob. New to Colorado. What kind of stuff do I want to name drop? Not into dudes. Um, games, music, or movies. And top it off with a dash of what I'm looking for. Something serious, community, or fun. Oh! Um, I mean, I know that, like, she meets Alex in the next year. So, like, I don't want something serious in case that ruins her and Alex's. Like, I don't want her to be taken when Alex gets here. I should not be playing this game thinking about Alex. But I am gonna go for... I'm gonna go for community. Disaster queer. Moved here on a whim to DJ at a radio station. I'll beat you at dino kart racing. Looking for people who can plug me into the Colorado... I was about to, like, smash Colorado and lesbian together. Colorado being. <laughs> Colorado lesbian scene. So she's got, like... That's cute. So she's got a little DJ thing, a little games console, and then also her lesbian flag. Cute! Love that for you, Stephanie. Oh my god, like we legit- <gasps> Ooh, can we swipe? Oh my goodness, get lost. Grace, 41? Mummy, sorry, mummy? Grace Gunnison, Colorado, mother of two, exploring a different side of myself. Steph's into it. I'm going to right trigger her. Um, Bubbles, 24, your town. This user hasn't entered a tagline yet. How mysterious. I feel like Bubbles, I feel like she might be a catfish. She's the same age as Steph, but Caitlin, 22, at Haven Springs. You miss every shot you don't take. She's cute. We'll go for her. <gasps> Match made. The feeling is mutual. You two, you two like each other. Hell yeah. Guess let's I send... should probably break the ice. Let's send a message. This is so cute. Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness. Play it cool or go and fly. She's cute. Let's go and fly. This is so, oh my god. What lesbians? Oh no. Oh god, hey beautiful. This is like, which lesbians worked on this game? Cause this is already too relatable. Hey beautiful, how's it going? Oh god, okay, you're gonna think I'm the world's biggest bitch. Uh, why? Uh, guess that depends on what you say next. So I swiped right on accident. No, Steph. Ow or oh, lol. We'll play it off. We'll try. We'll try and be jerky about it. That's hilarious. Please tell me the how that happened. Oh, I don't know. I keep checking my settings. It's supposed to show me dudes. Maybe I changed it without meaning to. So why do you swipe? Or how often does this happen? I went for how do you. Uh, so wait, we've established how I showed up in your feed, but why'd you swipe right? You're gonna think this is dumb? Try me. I have a thing about names. Like, I don't even look at people's pics most of the time. I swipe based on whether or not I can imagine introducing a dude to my friends. So I was like, yeah, hey y'all, this is my boyfriend, Steph, and it sounded good, and I didn't even check, and ugh, sorry for the confusion. Or would that, would that be Steve? I don't know. I know Stevens who was spelled like that, but I've never, I've never met a dude who is called Steve and spells it that way. Could that be Steve? I don't know. How do names work? That's dumb as hell. That's really interesting. I don't want to be mean. That's actually a really interesting way to use a dating gap. I have literally never heard of anyone else using your method. I mean, maybe for a good reason, lol. Anyway, you seem really cool. Sorry for the weirdness. No worries or swipe carefully. We'll just say no worries. 
no big deal. Take care out there. I'm so, I got so excited for Steph. I was like, oh my God, a match already? Are you kidding me? Wait, I want to go back on. Okay, it's There's just on our phone. probably work for me to do in the store as well. No, 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 no. I want to, I want to continue swiping. You cannot give me a lesbian dating app and not expect me to be on it 24-7. Are you I actually kidding me? I think there was me? a note for me on the front counter. Yeah, I don't, I don't care, dude. Let me get that back. Let me get that back up. She, her, Greta, keep Colorado goth into it. She, her, Kylie, 25, Haven Springs. Are you the one we're looking for? Hmm. When, when she says we're, is it like one of those like, hey, we're a couple, we're a quirky couple who want a third? which I'm never into. I don't think you should be on dating sites for that. Like go meet people in the real world who want a threesome. Not to judge, but like, I mean, I'm looking for someone, you know? I don't want a throuple with people um, personally. So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say no to Kylie just cause the weird is kind of sus. Winnie 28, wanna get high and watch anime? Absolutely I do. There's no one else in your area right now. Try again later. There's only six gays. Oh, Steph, where have you moved to? Dude, why does this, what's this hello one? Are they messages? Okay, so that's our dating gap. This is the dating gap messages. Then we have our bio and then these are our texts. Okay. I want to read all of our texts. Holy crap, we have so many. Yo, hey, it's Steph from Drugstore Makeup. What up, bud? So, okay, talk to Izzy and we're in for the gig. It'll be good to have a stop between SLC and Denver. Sick. Can't wait for you guys to play up here. You're going to love it. Hell yeah. Think you could put me up for a few days? Uh, Don't you have more tour dates? Shit, did something happen? No, not really. I was just thinking maybe I'd stick around Haven for a little longer than we originally planned, but not both of you. Look, man, can I crash with you or not? Yeah, yeah, of course. If you need to talk, hit me up. So I think I can get you a job in town if you're interested. So you can stop couch surfing and get your own place. Dude, maybe we ought to talk about that. Crack open some beers. I'll be there in 10. You know, if it were me, I don't think I'd bet my future on the outcome of a game I, if I suck that much. He's talking about the foosball. Bro, I'm trying to sleep. Whatever. You'll sleep when you're dead. About that record store job, though. Ugh, fine. I'll go in for the interview. Thanks, Gabe. You're the coolest friend a girl could have. Thanks, Gabe. Now let me sleep for fuck's sake. Break a leg, kid. Thanks, man. Seriously, don't even mention it. I love getting to see this side of Gabe and Steph. Are you kidding me? Oh my god, and they have a group chat together? Why are they the actual cutest? You've been added to this group SMS conversation by Gabe. If you believe this was a mistake, please block this number and contact your service provider. Submitted for the approval of Haven Springs Cool Kids Club, our newest member, Steph Gingrich. So this is Gabe, Ryan, and Charlotte. Welcome aboard. It's about time this group chat became less of a boys club. Yo, thanks for having me. So movie night? I'm always down for movie night. Dude, you're always down for nature documentary night. Soon as I want to put on Jurassic Park, you dip. They don't have feathers. Where are their feathers, Gabe? Oh God, not this again. <laughs> I'm down for movie night. When are we doing this? My place, Friday. And I believe it's only fair that we let our newest member pick the movie. What? I didn't agree to that. Too bad, my dude, the deed is done. I'm gonna get real weird with it. Okay, but like, how weird? Real weird. She is pretty weird. My glasses were so gross, dude. Okay, we have Izzy. Hey, home safe. I think it would be best if I blocked your number. It's not personal. I just feel like the temptation to text you would be too much. And I want you let and I want to let you get on with whatever it is you're doing out there. So bye. This user has blocked incoming SMS messages from your number. Respect. Respect to Izzy for like you know, knowing that boundary, like knowing Steph's boundary and also her own. Like that's so mature, are you kidding me? Jerry, hey, we're doing a show at Snot House on the 25th. Tigons, Riz, Attacker Lanterns, and y'all, if you want in, 
bring your own beer, obviously. Uh, shit, you haven't heard. I kind of moved out of Seattle. Oh shit, when? Like a week ago? Damn, is Izzy with you? Nope, sorry dude. I don't think DSM is a thing anymore. Damn, F's in cha. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, I love that. Gotta get the F's in chat, man. Guys, can we get some F's in the comments? I really hope this is the right number. If the person reading this is Steph, hey, it's Mikey, been a minute. Mikey, if you didn't watch before the storm, there's gonna be some recurring characters. Mikey went to Blackwell with Steph and Chloe and Rachel Amber, and he was actually Steph's best mate. They used to sit and play D&D together. Holy shit, hey. Damn, dude, it's been ages. How'd you find me? I had a different number last time we talked. Lol, you're in the alumni directory. Seriously? I, th I know, I thought it was weird too. Man, you donate five books one time. Anyway, damn dude, how are you? Yeah, I'm good, you know how it is. Yeah, actually no, I have no idea how it is. Lol, no, I guess you don't. I'm still kicking around, got into grad school, so that's dope, how about you? That is dope, congrats on grad school. Lol, no idea, I split. Oh, for real, where are you now? Haven Springs, Colorado. What is that, like a suburb of Denver? Haha, <laughs> see, that would have been the smart place to move to. No, it's way way out in BFE. Long story. Well, if you ever want to tell it, I'm all ears. Oh, I like how they've reconnected. Oh, I didn't look at my tasks. Read Cassia's note, complete radio show tasks, and listen to your portable recorder. What? What is a portable recorder? The scariest thing about this book is the menacing overdue notice I get once a year. Daughter of the Looking Glass. Arcadia Bay Public Library. Dude, she's still, how? How are you gonna have a freaking Arcadia Bay Public Library one when you literally haven't lived there for years? I really wish they just put like non Eleanor knows I kill in. plants. She willingly sent these to their death. Dude, you're gay. How are you I've gonna be out here killing plants? I've had conversations with Eleanor. And she's already giving me flowers. Steph, I can best see of, why Gabe loves her. Best of luck in this new adventure. We we're all so glad you decided to stick around. Hugs, Eleanor Lee. So we all know how much Eleanor loves hugs. That's probably gonna be my dinner. Gabe, <laughs> your girlfriend is too good for you, man. Oh, how are I gonna steal your best friend's girlfriend? Steph, have fun at the new gig. Don't worry, these chocolates are safe for work. Best, Shaw. Cute. Okay, so I'm guessing we're in spring, considering we've got the spring fest. Oh. Never thought I'd be so excited about a desk job. Yeah, but dude, it's in the music store. Analysis of the sonata form and its relation to musical structure and choice? <laughs> Whoa. Who's the heavyweight thumbing through these bad boys? <laughs> Ugh, what's this? <sighs> oh man, I'm gonna puke. The hell peed on our rug. <laughs> Ugh, that's nasty, man. One day, if you're brave, unselfish, and true, you can be a real guitar. I Do we get to meet Val this game? Next up, put your paws together for Nat King Collie. We really need to get some customers in here. <laughs> Dog trio. Uh, who else have we got? Oh my god, it's so different. It looks like so boring like without Steph's touch yeah. to it. This place definitely needs an update. We've got Urban. Uh, what's down here on the floor? Just more CDs. Yeah, it definitely doesn't look as cool as when Steph Treat was Treat yourself it. this Valentine's Day. Call Fred's snow removal. What the hell? Listening station? When's the last time someone even used this? Hey, you make it super cozy stuff. There's like no furniture in here. Why is it so gross? Look at all like the dust particles around her as well. It's so nasty in here. No contact for two years. Then this mysterious package. <laughs> well played, Mikey. How's he gonna do that? This is sick. Is he gonna be like, let's get back into D&D? &D? Holy shit, open it, Steph. All my old GM stuff. Holy shit. Yes. 
Oh my goodness, Game Master's notes. Look at your own risk. This is so sick. Mikey oh my really goodness. went for the nostalgia. Guess I should look through everything. We've got we've got a set of dice in there. Okay, this is this is the campaign notebook. My old notebook. Dad must have dug it up in my room and given it to Mikey. Oh my god. This takes me back. Do not read. Warning, Proceed proceeding further will result in character death by sudden and unexplained organ failure. Elamon Cloudbreaker. Oh my goodness, Elamon. What a throwback. This is gonna be such like heart wrenching for me. I love Before the Storm. Before I played True Colors, Before the Storm was my favorite Life is Strange game. Sex male class wizard level 14. Holy shit. I think level 20 is like the highest you can reach. I like recently got into Critical Role. Like throughout the last year, like pandemic, I got into Critical Role. I still don't know a lot about D&D. &D. Like most of my knowledge about it comes from Critical Role. I would just like to Put that out there. However, I know more about D&D now than I did when I played Before the Storm. Elamon, wizard of the third circle and honorable advisor to King Tiberius, has felt the call of magic since childhood. Born to peasant folk in the village of Autumn Graves, Elamon hid his abilities for many years, in fear of being outcast by the village eldership. As a young man, Elamon grew in boldness, finally leaving Autumn Graves to seek instruction at the legendary Hall of Circles. Now he travels the world in search of knowledge, good company, and a smattering of gold. Abilities are communication, move object, astral projection, ghostly push, Urgle's Acid Blast, Zell's Cataclysmic Cone of Fire, and Gignomi's Fire Strike of Flame. Campaign ideas, Beneath the Froth and Foam. The villagers of Krendel's Keep know two things better than anyone else on the Widowed Sea. How to catch a stubborn herring with hook and line, and the taste of a stubborn herring over fire. Life was simple there, and a little slow and hardly dangerous, until the children started to disappear. It started with the brewmaster's son, then the smith's daughter, then the hunter's nephew, then more after. Calls went out to the monster hunter gills, but not too many folk make it all the way down to Crendel's keep. A good-hearted Crendel man, one Captain Dennis Salt, sailed to the port of Rye himself and put forth a plea to the guildmaster. It was then at last the call was heard, but would it be enough? The eternal prisoner. No one can say who built the cell in Ashtooth Forest, or how long it stood, or what manner of spell magic the stones. Only that a man lives in the cell, alone and imprisoned, for well over 600 years. He does not remember his name, but too similar to the campaign in Black Hollow. <laughs> And then we have the perfect city. No city in Karai compared to the bustling streets and dazzling spires of New Eden. It was not just the wealth, the artistry, or the safety found inside New Eden's walls. No, it was the total absence of everyday evil, disease, hunger, theft. The citizens of New Eden raised perfect families and lived perfect lives. Neighboring kingdoms were desperate to forge alliances, but New Eden stood alone in all its great perfection. But perfection comes at a cost. Rubies and fire. The local... The locals call it Door to Flame, but the mountain had older names. Furnace Peak, Crimson Rock, and if you ask the right wrinkled bookkeeper, Kartas? Kartas? elder throne. It stretched right, right past the clouds and filled the sky with an endless veil of soot. It also brought many travellers to its base, seeking the legendary treasure within. The goat king Ozzies built the vault in forgotten days and left his two undying sons to guard it. No one could remove a single coin, jewel, or crown from the hoard. No one that lived, at least. The die laughing, the royal jester Thomas Pottersby was not a funny man in life, but in death. Nah, this is dumb. <laughs> Okay. So, need a new Elamon campaign. My old notebook had some ideas in it that might work. I kind of want to go for the second one. Rubies and Fire, The Perfect City, or Beneath the Froth and Foam. Yeah, Rubies and Fire is the one about the, uh, okay. I like The Perfect City. I think that could be cool, but, you know, Volcano Man. We're gonna go for the Volcano. 
for sure. Is this her dice? Yeah, the D20. I legit have one. What? Oh, don't talk to me about it. Don't talk to me about my hair. Don't talk to me about Beanie. Don't talk to me about my D20. You, what? It would be really fun to reconnect with Mikey. It's been ages. But am I ready to GM a whole campaign again? Yes. Absolutely. Fuck yeah, I am. <laughs> yeah, bitch. That's what I'm talking about. Love you, Steph. She's well up for it. Mikey still got it. Elamon, though, has seen better days. Hey, Elamon looks all right there. What are you talking about? He's like not aged, man. Right, GM guy. I gifted this to Mikey before I left for Seattle. Wonder if I'd even understand half of it now. Surely they update. Like, holy crap. This has got to be like years old. Kingdoms and Caverns, Game Master's Guide. I like how it's called Kingdoms and Caverns. I don't think they can get away with calling it D&D. &D. So it's K and C in Life is Strange universe now. I'm fairly sure in Before the Storm though, did they call it D&D &D or was it just like generic role play game? Command not only armies, but the very fabric of your story in the next edition of the world renowned tabletop role playing experience. And then we have our Feel note like over I here. I get along with this woman. Dear Miss Gingrich, welcome to my store. Lord knows we need a fresh face. My name is Cassia Sobieski, and I'm an old bat in a nursing home in Colorado Springs. The Record Traders is very near to my heart, so anything you can do to improve the place, and I do mean anything, is greatly appreciated. Kind regards, Cassia. Some ideas, better decor, better music, fix vent cover in the back. Been falling off for so years. If I read that right, Kasha's basically giving me carte blanche. I can work with that. We just I'll get check to out do... those posters. Maybe there's something to spruce up the walls. Oh, she's so music. good, man. I can at least start it by updating the new releases. I just like love her style and like and... her design. Yep, there's the vent. Might as well take a look. God, you got you can be a busy girl, Steph. You've got to run this whole shop by yourself. You've got so much going on. Better get cracking. I miss picking outfits though. I'll throw it out there. Use this to view your current objectives. We don't have any messages. I can't believe the only person. Should we ghost her? I kinda don't wanna ghost her. I don't wanna ghost her. I wanna I wanna keep it open. She might text me. No one else has texted me, so I'll just leave it to the straight girl. It's relatable. These new releases are like two years old. Creepy. If we don't have new releases, what do we have? Steph's picks. 1990s, 1790s. We'll go for the 1990s. My era. Got some Spice Girls up in here. S Club 7. Boy bands and girl groups. See? It's throwback about. time. Hell yes, it is. Shit, that's coming from inside the booth. Oh, fuck. My first call. Go, go, Better go. Better go answer it. Come on. Oh my god, those arms are moving back and forth very, very quickly. I wish you could run. I mean, that was a pretty fast walk, to be fair. Not fast enough for the gaze, but all right. Phone, answer. Is someone calling in about the show? Hello? You're on KRCT Radio and you're talking to Steph. Yo, this the record store? Uh, sort of, yeah. Hmm, depends what you mean by this. What? See, this is a radio booth within a record store. And this voice you're speaking to, me, is a DJ who also works at the record store. But this phone call, as I mentioned, is decidedly for the radio. Follow? Uh, no. <laughs> no one can, can follow that stuff. Can I just give you my stuff? order? And you can just, like, give it to whoever? <sighs> yeah, why not? Sweet. All right, uh, I got Goodbye Means Forever by Kim Snyder. 
going our separate ways by the seagulls don't let the door hit you by robbie rooster hmm oh oh boy oh boy what no nothing just who are these four my girlfriend i saw them in her wish list online and decided to surprise her buy local you know yeah yeah cool yeesh I don't think this kid realizes that his girlfriend is loading up on breakup music. Okay. Look. Oh no, maybe she's trying to tell you something. Don't you think it's time to move on? I wonder if your girlfriend might be sending out some signals you're not picking up on. Steph, you're about to break yeah. this you poor lost boy's me there. heart. <sighs> All right, dude, listen. I'm pretty sure your girlfriend's breaking up with you. How the hell would you know that? Gee, I don't know. Guess I'm psychic. Whatever, lady. Screw this. Thanks for calling KRCT. Was he on the radio? Because that's so embarrassing. If he was like, if he was like, that was being broadcast, that's well embarrassing. Um, Take that, auto DJ. I want to kind of browse. Um, we're going to play full asleep. I figured this one's over. Even though we can't hear it. I really, like, I would play with the music on, but, like, I also don't... And I know it might take away from it for a couple of you, but, like, I just really don't want to get copyright strike, especially with, like, videos being so long as well. So I really hope you don't mind. Um, ooh. Smolder can't be any worse of a wingman than Gabe. Smolder. That's what the dating apps are called. Okay, what did we do? We read all the ads, we used, um, cool. Okay, we did all of that. We did, we did actually get a message from Mikey. Hey, 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 did you get the package I sent you? Um, can I, oh my god, I can reply. This is so cool, this is like the first time in a Life is Strange game where we've been able to send a text, right? Like, I feel like whenever you played in the past, like, all their texts were already written out. Hell yeah, let's play, it's gonna be awkward, but fun. Dude, it's been way too long. I'm straight up hype about murdering Elamon again. Lol. Classic Steph Gingrich. <laughs> Okay, we need to complete record store tasks. I don't know what the hell we have to do, man. It's very realistic that none of these characters go, like, anywhere without their phones. <laughs> they always have to have them with them. Okay, we've looked at most of this around here. We've got posters. Um... I want to look at these because we got a call, There's obviously. There's got to be some 90s child out there looking for a nostalgia fix. I have no idea what you mean, Stephanie. I, I have felt called out so, so often in these games. And it's only made worse by the fact that Steph, I think, is the most on-point lesbian French cuisine I've in played you. as. Learn to shred on the guitar in 60 days. Mastering your email? Chapter one, turning your computer on. <laughs> oh, the sad fact is my mom would need that. Bless I need her. to know who's mass producing these mountain paintings for every store in Haven. <laughs> I don't think that's a Charlotte original. Um, oh yeah, we have, to, we have to do the thingy as well. The vent. GM guide behind here it's so weird not having val in the shop if you are tuning in and you haven't seen true colors val valkyrie is Sheet a music too steph's cat this that store she found can't on the make up its mind not kasha's favorite musical i take it kasha okay i need to remember how to pronounce that backseat bingo a new musical by horace grassley zero dollars you'd be doing the store owner a favor okay Oof, we need to get this sucker filled up. We do. We actually do get it filled up. Oh my god, holy shit. This door is so nice. Are you kidding me? Oh, uh, look at how grimy this place is. Honestly, I've talked about this, um, but I think I want to do like a, 
a true Colors save file in The Sims 4. So like, this is great. This is all referencing that I, I need to build the inside of Rocky Mountain Trader Records. Oh, here's that I had this melody recorder. in my head all night. Finally got out of bed and recorded it. I wonder so how it sounds now. I could give it a listen, see if I still like it. So she records her own music? No way. This is actually pretty sick. I guess upgrading from humming to actual music is a good next step. Screw Huntress. Step on me, Steph. Huntress who? Huntress's lullaby? Uh, sorry, I only know Steph's lullaby. Oh, I, can I exit out of this? Okay, I can. Okay. <laughs> I didn't realize. So what instrument should I play this thing on? Does that was just going around and around. A guitar or a synth? I kind of want to see her play a guitar. Yeah, I bet it'll sound cool as a guitar riff. I just want, I would just want to see her play a guitar. I think that would be really fucking cool. Mostly, I'm totally at peace with my decision to quit the band and stay here. Mostly. The Seattle scene. The Rainy City is a number one free weekly. Local punk favorite drugstore makeup returns by Bernard Nelson. That's the hard thing about being a two-piece, explained front woman Izzy Insurrection. If you lose one person, that's half the band. Denizens of Seattle's punk venues may wonder what happened to the aggressive sets and black lipstick. I can imagine Steph wearing black lipstick. I wanna I wanna see her in her like outfit, what she wore in the band, of drugstore makeup after months of silence. Following an unexpected lineup change, Izzy needed to pull together fresh talent. Our new drummer is a punk rock grenade. It's the kick-ass energy we need right now. Ooh. Ouch. From Steph Goblinchild at Gingrich.net. She has her own website. This fucking nerd. George Gingrich. George at GrinchDigital.co. Hello there, yonder. Dad, I don't know what could be more grounded than undead nuns. They are literally buried underground. Did you try Shadows and Whiskey yet? It's got all that crime noir you love without the misogyny. <laughs> Lol. Love me. P.S. Did you try making the trailer more like trailer? P.P.S. No dead elk yet, but there's always tomorrow. George Gingrich to Goblin Child. Stephanie, hey there, sweets. So how is it out there in big Colorado? Hunted any wild elk yet? I've been buried by deadlines lately. Clients submitted feedback at the last minute asking for their trailer to feel, and I quote, more like a trailer. You got it, boss. Tried watching that show you recommended, but couldn't get past the undead nuns. Do you have anything a little more grounded for me? Love, George. That's cute. Getting her seat, like, interacting with her family. We never really... I love how they're giving Steph, like... That, I mean, I love that they gave her her own DLC, but, like, they're giving her One more day, of, like... One day, bad club her art is gonna make a comeback. And when that day comes, I'll be ready. I love clip art, man. I would still use clip art to this day if, if it was cool. If any of these ask me to dance like no one's watching, I'm buying myself a drink. Keep calm. Please be a keep calm poster. <laughs> I doubt Wait. there would be. One of these might work. Women of power. Oops. Women of power. That sounds promising. Absolutely. Nice. We have one cool. poster. <laughs> it's gonna change the whole vibe of the place. Why, yes, I did put up a poster of cute girls flexing. Let's not all act surprised at once. <laughs> Stop, it just takes me back to like Chloe's bedroom with like the naked woman on a unicorn. Good times. That was the gayest poster I ever did see. Like, I didn't think it could get gayer, but this game might get gayer. If I emptied all these out, I could make a wicked fucking fort. But I'm not doing that right now. 
Fuck it, let's do it. Build a fort, bitch. I want to build a fort. Are you kidding me? Some drummers dream of sitting in with the Stones or the Who. I know who I'd rather play with. <gasps> the cottage core gaze. Aunt Flo and the Lilies. Absolutely queer Give me as hell. Aunt Flo over these dudes any day. Summertime lounging. Is that bald guy? That's bald guy. F off. Was bald guy in a band? That's a hundred percent bald guy. Are you kidding me? I want to kind of look at all like the. She said, uh, crazy stick cult groove fruit. We have 90s music, inspirational, heady, heavy, new age, jazz, new age, classical, jazz, Latin, 90s music, folk, children's. Solitude is under folk. Noise. One day, oh. bad clip art is going to make a comeback. And Why when do that have day snapbacks? comes, I'll be ready. Are, are there snapbacks for like bands, do we reckon? Okay, I think we've had a look at everything. So let's also um, let's sort out this vent, man. All those years of high school set design were preparing me for this moment. I love that she was a theater nerd. Oh, it just needs some screws. I remembered that the other day. I was like, oh my god, yeah, she was the she was like the oh stage my god. manager. That animal's living in the walls. Val. Hey. You in there. I'm coming back tomorrow with Febreze and a broom. So consider yourself warned. <laughs> it's Valkyrie. I hope it's Valk now. Ooh, we got another call. Go, go, go. Let's get in. We're so eager. I'm so eager to like, f to have everyone like me. Wow. That got deeper than I thought it was going to. Um, answer. Who's on this time? That was not a sentence. KRCT. <laughs> Steph here. Hey, are you the psychic? Really? <laughs> yeah, that's her. <laughs> you predicted I was going to dump Danny before I did it, right? So you're psychic. <laughs> what the shit? Let's go with that. It was obvious. You know what? For the sake of filling some airtime, sure. I'm a psychic. I foretell shit. That's so cool. Okay, so my best friend for basically my whole life, Tara, and I both got into CU, but then I got into UC, which is my dream school. I know I'm always supposed to follow my dreams, but I'm so scared of what will happen if I go to school without Tara. Oh, She's my no. rock. That's... Are you sure you want to talk about this with me? Didn't we just go over this? Are you going to help me or not? Oh, okay. God. Just give me a second. That's like a Damn. big decision. How do I tell this girl's future? No, you're not gonna... All right. Come. What am I going to tell this girl? You're not just gonna leave it to the Ooh. dice. A six is... Hey, not that's my lucky news. number. So, what's my prediction? Mortal enemies. Oh, a college dropout. Man, um, uh, let's go with mortal enemies. Okay, I think I've got something for you. Ready? Yes. Okay, the good news is that you and Tara will definitely keep up your relationship. It's just that instead of best friends, you become mortal enemies. What? Why? Music festival mishap, literary rivalry. A year into college, you both discover a gift for the art of lyrical expression known as poetry. I love poetry. But it's no, not all roses just, and no violets. Way. The world of poetry journals is small and brutally competitive. Soon, the two of you are passively aggressively sniping at one another, then aggressively aggressively. Instead of becoming the next Emily Dickinson, you end up just being a dick. <laughs> Hate is a feathered thing. All right. That's all I got. Hope it wasn't too brutal. I mean, it was pretty it brutal was stuff. But I think it'll help prepare me for the bumpy roads ahead. Thanks, Steph. That's well cute. Are you kidding me? I used to feel like something was missing if I wasn't rolling this around in my hand. 
That's so cute. She's just gonna become like an agony ant based off the rolls. Is there a song you want to hear on the air? Maybe a song you never want to hear again? Drop me an email. I'll probably even read it. I mean, what else have you got to do, Steph? Uh, let's use this. Gabe must have said call me. Uh, yo, you're doing great. Give me a call towards the end of your shift for the debrief. Yeah, right. Uh, thanks. I'll, I'll just finish thanks. up whatever I want to do and then call Gabe. Hey, thanks, man. Will do. Okay. Let's, um... Uh, what? Oh, oh my god, oh my god. I didn't god. mean to do Am that. I caller number 12? Dude, this job you got me... It's great? Turns out it's like four jobs simultaneously, and I'm qualified for maybe three quarters of one? Why did I let you convince me to bullshit my way through that interview? <laughs> uh, you know you're on the air, right? Is she actually? Oh shit. Steph, why are you like this? <laughs> Avoid situations like these with puttoworkcolorado.com. Elevate your job prospects today. <laughs> oh, that's so embarrassing. For a first day, huh? Oh, no, I'm cringing for her. Poor chick. No, Steph. I just want to give her a big hug. God, this is long, man. I was not, like, I said I was gonna record for like two hours. We've not even got through like one season yet. I definitely thought we would be, unless this is a change of season. Okay, this is Pride. So this is summer. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Kind Haven listeners, today is the last day of June and that means we've got one more day to celebrate Pride. One of my favorite promotions this month what did she just Contribute throw? Contribute to our Haven Pride mural and get 20% so off the Silver Dragon dispensary. I'm told this discount is participation based and will not depend on artistic ability. But just in case, here's how you draw a rainbow. Start drawing a circle, then stop. More great music from queer artists coming down the pike. Hold up. I'm getting a vision of the future. It's me. Answering your calls in just a few minutes. <laughs> oh man, she's really leading into like the the witchy side of the gaze as well. Oh my god, she's so sweaty. To be, what's it called? Talking. That's how I feel when I have to like stream or record a video, like in the four days that the UK gets its summer. This is exactly how I feel. I, uh, my brain just does not work under that much heat. Oh, she's so sweaty, man. Fuck, it's hot. I mean, you are. All right. The heat's no excuse. Better take this call. Okay, let's answer this bad boy. She still looks so weird without her beanie, man. I'm so not used hey, to it. Hey, you're live. What can I do you for? Hey, uh, well, I think I might have screwed up pretty it's big Pride with my Month son. as well. Oh, okay. What happened? Uh, you're gonna think I'm a real jerk. But my boy Grady sat me down yesterday and he, I guess the term you'd use is, he came out to me. Oh. And I could have handled it a lot better than I did. Shouldn't you talk to Grady about this? What does that mean? What does that mean? You could have handled it better? I didn't yell at him or anything. I just shut down. I didn't know what to say. Oof. That must have been rough for poor Grady. Anyway, he loves your show listens to it religiously, and I thought maybe I could put in a song request on his behalf. Just so he knows I hear him. And I love him. Uh, you're a good dad, or this won't make it better. Hey, everybody screws up sometimes, man. I'm proud of you for trying to make it better. 
That's very kind of you. Just maybe try to be on board from now on. Having a queer kid is an absolute blessing. I wish more dads acted like it. Yeah, for sure. What's the track? It's Feelings by Haley Kyoko. Ugh! Grady played it for me right before he tried to talk to me. He said it was meaningful to him. All right. Let me see if I can dig it up. Oh Thank you. man, I I'm so it. sad. I can't Pretty listen sure to we've the got that lesbian Jesus. In the back room. Oh, why can we not listen to lesbian Jesus? Oh, why does everything have to be copyrighted? <laughs> Nothing says high quality radio content like an obnoxious sound effects board. I bet I could use this on air. And being a radio DJ is actually very similar to being a streamer, isn't it? Like, instead of, like, just... I mean, there's a lot of crossover, I feel like. Who said playing games won't get you anywhere? <laughs> hey! See, I also feel like Katie just had an absolute, like, blast recording all of this because, like... I mean, I feel like as a gamer and as a Twitch streamer, like, yes, it's super similar to being a DJ. And then you get to have, like, all your, like, nerdy little, like, activities in there as well. So good. Let's see who we got this time. We got the Black Lantern, 4th of July pool tournament, now selling popsicles and bar crawl, Rocky Mountain Gazette. For this ad, please highlight that the RMG is a local paper and covers topics that actually impact life in Haven. We are dedicated to serving the Haven community and no story is too small. Thanks, the RMG team. And we have Avalanche Ice Cream. This week, I was thinking, what if we did an ad as if... It was a radio drama. I don't have a full story for it, so you can just make something up. But I want to, but I want it to be about aliens invading Haven and ice cream somehow saves the day. Thanks, Sunny. Steph, please just be yourself and mention the flavor selection and our ongoing buy one get one. What buy bo bogo? What's bogo? Buy one get. Isn't it usually like free? Bug off, Angela. We can browse the records. What's I on know our it's task not list? that much, but I have the memory of a goldfish. Before I finish my shift, answer two calls at least. Well, we got one call already out of the way, and read three ads on air. Okay, you got it. I kind of want to. Okay, let's I've look at I've gotten exactly zero smolder matches in the past two weeks, yet here I am, glancing at my phone again. Let's use it. Damn, Violet. Why does Violet kind of remind me a little bit of Chloe? Gay punks over all other punks. I'm just being thirsty, man. Cat, this user hasn't entered a tagline yet. How mysterious, but she's a nurse. Let's say yes. We have Pickle31, Denver, Butch Comedian with bad hair and worse jokes. Hey, your hair isn't bad. I'm just saying yes to everyone. This is bad, isn't it? Cal29, Westminster. Man, I don't know. I just want to talk to someone. <gasps> Fiona looks well cool. Fiona's into video games. I'll, I'll heal for you if you tank for me. Hell yeah, game of girlfriend. Message her right this instant. Are you kidding me? I'm f great at this. Hello? Uh, can, we, can we message her? I don't know why, but it glitched out and now I can't message her. No! Janice, 27, not long for this continent. Let's just say yes. They, them, Colby. I've been told I smell like a new book. Hey, that's pretty attractive. Message. Do I want to kick things off or leave it to them? No, I want to I wanna kick it off. Um, make a move. All right. What's the best approach? Hmm. Compliment their clothes. We'll try clothes. We did flirty cheesy last time and it didn't pay off. Dope shirt. Sure, I don't think I could pull off the fancy patterned button up look. Thanks. I bet you could. Too fancy or too eye catching? Hmm. Fancy. Steph's not a very fancy kind of gal. Too fancy. I only wear what I'm not afraid to spill hot sauce on. See, that's the difference between you and me. I'm not afraid to spill hot sauce on anything. Winky face. Ask about music. Yeah. Music's a big part of Steph's life, obviously. 
So what kind of music do you like, Colby? Little bit of everything. I've been on a bluegrass kick. Damn, seriously? Hell yeah. I actually ordered a build your own banjo kit, but I haven't put it together yet, lol. This is so accurate to the gaze. Oh my word. Crap, phone's about to die. Ask them out or say goodbye. Ask them out. Well, hey, before it does, do you want to meet up sometime? Mm, maybe. I am swamped for the next month at least. Can I hit you up when things chill out? Sorry, I'll have a girlfriend by then. No, I won't. <laughs> yeah, sounds good or forget about it. Sure, no big deal. Damn, Steph's trying to play it cool, man. We need to read all ads, answer two calls, complete record store task, tally foosball score, listen to your original song, and add to Ethan's drawing. I want to message that other person, which is so annoying that it glitched out. Are you kidding me? KC24, bike trash for bike trash. Hit me up if you want to ride. I'm going to say, honestly... <laughs> Even if I had the money, I know a sucker's bet when I see one. You've reached your swipe allotment for the day. One more chance to meet your special someone. Sign up for a six, 17 pounds a month for a dating site. Absolutely not, man. Get out of here. Did we message? Um, no, 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 no. I don't want to ghost her. I just want to see. Okay, yeah, we didn't. We didn't really talk to her again after that. Let's go to Ryan. Uh, hello, this is Ryan, Lucan. Well, hello, this is Steph Gingrich. <laughs> well, now we have each other's numbers. I'm glad you're a part of the gang. Nice to feel like I'm not third wheeling it with Gabe and Shaw. Or, or we're both third wheeling it with Gabe and Shaw? Damn, if only there were a word for another third wheel. F fourth, maybe? Have you tried that one? Guys, I'm sorry. Is it fucking snowing? Yes, it was 90 degrees yesterday. Colorado, baby. I hate it. Give it 24 hours. So wait, explain this ending to me. Machine call? Yeah, dude. This movie makes no sense. Well, I mean, that's true. But that's what's dope about it. No, but the dude, like, he feeds the baby to a machine? Why? He spent the whole movie trying to protect the damn baby. I don't know, dude. It's like a metaphor. For what? It's not like one-to-one. -one. It's tonal. It's about letting go of the things that you use to define yourself. That sucks, though. Lol. You don't like any normal movies? Not really. Is that is that meant to be, like, the game? I don't know. I've never played... Is it Death Stranding? The one where you carry the baby around. Is that a reference to that? Did it just spoil that game for me? I'm never gonna play that game, but like, still. Oh my god, they talk so much. Are you kidding me? Jed just called it the Google. That's not what it said on the Google. Babe, are you gonna text us every time Jed has a boomer moment? In fairness, he deserves it, <laughs> lol. Let me just hop on the old Google there. Best mustache wax send. No, no, dad's a loyal captain's mistress luxury parmaid one. Is that real? There's no way. It's real. Google it. Sorry. THE Google it. Lol, what the hell? This is magical. Okay, so wait, am I losing it? I mean, you're dating me, so sure, babe. This guy just popped into my commissions inbox. Uh-oh. Wait, why uh-oh? Trust me, this story is going to warrant an uh-oh. He's like, I want a portrait done of me and my wife. And I'm like, of course, can you provide me with a picture of the two of you? And he says, oh no, I'm not married yet. So I'm like, that's fine. Send me a pic of you and your fiance. He's like, I don't have a fiance. And now I'm starting to get like vibes, like super weird vibes. Uh, told you. So, okay, then dude's like, but I know what my future wife will look like. I saw her in a dream. No, holy shit. Okay, but it gets weirder. Then he was like, I think $50 is a fair price. And I tell him, no, I'm sorry, but for a full color portrait, my fee is 200. Oh God, I see where this is going. And this dude says, oh no, I meant I think 50 is a fair price for you to pay me for letting you know about my visions of the future. Fuck, jeez, shark, that's 
wow. Called it. I fucking called it. I feel like I'm going insane. So, are you going to pay him the 50 bucks you owe him? Or this is this is what it's like to be a creator online. Truly. Shah gets it. Is kiddo with his dad? Yup, just saw them off. How are you feeling? Oh, I'm okay. It gets a little lonely when Ethan's with Liam, but it's only a month I'll survive. Hell yes, you will. You're a total champ. But in the meantime, if you need a drinking buddy to pass the time, I can provide that service. Ugh, you're a hero. Thursday, sick. What's your poison? Wine, red. Cheap, but not too cheap. A girl after my own heart. Told you. Steph's Mrs. Steel, your girl, man. Gabe. Mac was worried about you and Riley. You should have been worried about Charlotte and Steph. Scrounged up some great albums for KRCT Pride. I wish my personal collection was this lit. Surely, like, she could just she could just steal them, right? After a little bit. A hundred percent. Let's read an advert. Um, we'll go for the Rocky Mountain Gazette. Let's take a all. quick ad break, Kind Haven listeners. Are you tired of only getting news about big towns far away? Then you must not be reading the Rocky Mountain Gazette. The RMG's reporters are so local. Mm. That they're in your apartment, right behind you, right now, eating your snacks. And as locals, these reporters care about what you care about, see everything. <laughs> care about the things you care about. They walk your streets, shop your shops, curse at the same pothole you curse at. Oh man, I have if so many potholes at the minute. If you want world class fair journalism, look no farther than your own backyard. The Rocky Mountain Gazette. Dang, I'm blowing up today. Should probably answer that call. I still haven't put on Haley Kyoko. This is really bad. He's gonna be like, where's Haley? Thanks for calling in. You're on with Steph. Yo, yo, what up? <laughs> Sorry, I don't know what that was. <laughs> what can I predict for you? I am in serious need of some divine foresight. And having my first girlfriend over for dinner with my parents next week. Okay, okay, big moment. Sound effect, cheer, scary stuff, cheer. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Gotta be honest though. I love it. Super nervous. I can see why a prediction is in order. Yeah, so if you could just tell me that dinner goes perfectly, that'd be great. I will consult with Mother Fate. Be right back. And by Mother Fate, I mean my D20. Let's go. Seventeen. You go, girl. That's a good one. All right. Moment of truth. I don't want to give this kid bad news, but I don't want to get her hopes up either. Seventeen's good news, I mean, surely. D20 seems optimistic. Exactly. You gotta trust the dice, man. Dinner goes well, dinner goes too well. I kind of, I kind of want to say dinner goes too well. Like what if her mum, like her girlfriend's like mum falls in love with her. I kind of want to push it and say dinner goes I'm too well. I'm getting an image of this family Am dinner. Am I about to, okay. I'm just bringing the trauma to everyone. I'm seeing easy flowing conversation and unencumbered laughter. It's all going well. So well, in fact, They bring up marriage, they break out the wine. That your parents bust out the wine. That's when the dancing starts and the karaoke. This is it. The final push I needed. <laughs> <laughs> you managed to survive the dinner and all told, everyone seems happy. In fact, once you're alone, your girlfriend shows you exactly how good a time she Ooh. had. <laughs> God, okay. Well, I'm feeling a lot less nervous about this now. Thanks, Steph. You bet. Good luck and thanks for your call. Maybe now I can start a new show. I'll call it The Dateless Dating Advisor. <sighs> Such a nerd, using her D20 to tell people about their, uh, their future. I'm living for it. What's More on to the PC? offer than the Black Lantern jukebox. But barely. Okay, our playlist is growing. We still haven't upgraded to Bit pro. of a learning curve, but 
we got this. Damn, you've like uh, over doubled, over doubled. <laughs> you've more than doubled is what I meant to say. Um, playing the same song too many times can turn listeners I'm sitting away. in a booth talking to myself about pride. Cut off from the outside world is an understatement to Steph this was a sweet message from e borlo whomail.com your pride programming hi Steph long time listener here I wanted to commend you for talking about pride and LGBT history on the air it's a topic that I'm regrettably less familiar with than I'd like to be this town can feel a bit cut off from the outside world at times so hearing from new voices like yours is a breath of fresh air best wishes Edna B <gasps> we stan Edna from Kashia. Steph, first of all, a little birdie told me about your psychic shtick. What a bit. Wish I thought of that one when I was manning the booth. You ought to think about charging by the minute like the pros. As for the storage room, you have my blessings and my condolences. God knows what's back there. It used to be something of a mausoleum where I'd berry product I was too embarrassed to shelf. That was back when I was still capable of embarrassment, of course. Waking up with your teeth in a glass on your nightstand has a way of changing a lady. Let me know how it goes. Okay. Hey Kasia, just wanted to drop you a line and ask about that back room. It's crazy packed and I was thinking about cleaning it out. Anything I should be aware of. Have we found Valk yet? I don't think we have. Okay, let's, let's, uh. Um... You're listening to KRCT. Haven's best and only choice for modern rock. We might have listened to every single banter that Steph Steph has in her. What's what's the phrase? My brain. I am hungover as shit today. I don't know why. I I wanted to get this video up, so I was like, I'm gonna have to record. But I got like six hours sleep last night, and I haven't drank in a hot minute. So I am just so you all know, I am on the struggle bus, but. Uh, yeah, we're going to do Avalanche. And now, a message from our sponsors. Go for the radio drama, shoot straight. Um, we'll go for the radio drama. Your friends I at hear Avalanche it. Ice Cream would like... Wait. What is that? What is that? Stay with me here, guys. I'll try to describe what I'm seeing. I think a UFO just landed outside the record store. Okay, there's a door. It's opening. The aliens are coming out. Two of them. They're heading into Avalanche now. Wait. This is so good. What's this? They love ice cream. They're lactose intolerant. The aliens are lactose intolerant. They're stumbling away from Avalanche, crop dusting as they go. It smells like vanilla. <laughs> oh, the aliens are getting rank. back on their ship. They're taking off. That's Woo! That was tense. I sure am glad Avalanche Ice Cream was here to save the day. Why not stop in and show them your appreciation? Oh, that's so good. Are you kidding me? Her, um, her imagination is incredible. KRCT is brought to you in part by our sponsors at the Black Lantern. It's been a brutally hot summer, so visit the Lantern and escape the heat with New popsicles or air conditioning? New popsicles. The kiddos can stain their tongues purple while you enjoy a round of darts and a cold one. And if that's not enough to get you in the door... Pool tournament bar crawl. The upcoming bar crawl will. How do you do a bar crawl when there's only one bar in town? <laughs> You'll have to <laughs> that show is up a to find out. Point. Hit up the Black Lantern today and tell them Steph sent you. I wonder if she gets discount from Jed for... Oh shit, another phone call? Damn, we're popular! Steph's popping off, man! You're People on love with her. Steph. What can I tell you? Yeah, hey, thanks for taking my call. So I'll cut to the chase. I have the world's worst roommate. Need to see the receipts? Oh, I'm so sorry. I want to hear all about it. That's a bold claim. Are you ready to back it up? I'm afraid so. Everything he does is loud. His music, his phone calls. He even keeps the little click noises on when he texts, which is every second. Yep. And I've had a roommate smell. like this. I think he thinks that the vape masks the fact that he doesn't shower or clean anything. 
Ugh. But it's just like strawberry B.O. Oh, okay. I get the picture. That actually so made me almost why are you it. So I've been planning to have like a house meeting, lay out all the cards, see if there's a way to make this work. And you want to know how it plays out. You are the psychic. Okay, give me a sec. Okay, we gotta we gotta do our D twenty. But I want to put another dino on the board. <laughs> Let's use it. Sixteen's a strong roll. Damn, these rolls home are doing not well. Feeling like home. That's a rough one. So can a house meeting really turn it around? She should be playing. Is a strong oh. dice check. Okay. Uh, Brothers in Filth or Showdown for the Ages? I have seen into the blurry future. <sighs> and? The house meeting doesn't go great. He only half listens to you and keeps texting the whole time. Click, clack, click, clack. <laughs> A week later, you reach your breaking point. Loud music, loud sex. I've been there, man. You I've hear been him there. and the girl he brought home going at it all night long this is you for the third too. time that week gross yep from then on it's full-on sonic warfare until one of you moves out of course but my powers only see so far got it guess i'll buy those noise canceling <laughs> headphones thanks for the heads up you should really invest it's mine have been great i use them all day every day um okay we've got a watched phone never rings so she's got more stuff to her so glad they sell these in bulk look how many are on our poster there's so many um plus rob's mudding tour KRCT stickers, KCRT. I hope Sorry. I can find that record he requested. Oh shit, yeah, I still haven't played Lesbian Jesus. Holy shit. Okay, um, let's get Lesbian Jesus out. Girl in red. Damn, we got all the freaking gays out here. Maybe it's in like the storeroom. Maybe that's what they mean. Maybe we'll play a little bit of Girl in Red whilst we uh go look for the rest of the records. Okay, we'll do that. We'll play girls. Oh, look at her little rainbow bracelet on. I cannot wait to play through this with like being able to listen to songs. It's gonna be great. Is this him complaining? This isn't the song I requested. Hey, you're on the air with Steph. Hey, I heard you talking about Pride the other day and you sort of convinced me to go next week. You're welcome. Oh, that's rad. We'll go for that's that. That's rad. rad. You always remember your first pride. I'm really excited. I've been, like, out for a while, but I've never actually had a boyfriend. I figured if I'm ever going to meet one, pride would be the place. You're going to pride to find a boyfriend? Does it work out? <laughs> hmm. Give me just a sec. <laughs> Absolutely not. If I can tell you anything about the gays, this is going to be like a natural one. Ouch. Oh, I knew it. Going to his first pride looking for love. How do I help this kid manage his expectations? People are not a pride to start to think a, he'll succeed. Start a strong foundation. Uh, he makes friends. We'll Ready go for to that. Hear your future? We'll cushion his blow with <laughs> like I'll ever be. You meet a load you of like really cool guys. A little nervous and begin to explore the festival. It's an onslaught of music and colors and the smells of street food. I miss What pride. surprises you is you make friends almost as soon as you arrive. Artsy folks or gamers? <laughs> gamers. A group of people stops to admire your I shirt, love artsy people. Which they mistakenly thought was a reference to their favorite MMO. Gay and nerdy? I like it. Nice. Exactly. You all start chatting, and soon it's like you've always known them. You spend the day with them, exploring the festival and exchanging numbers. By the time you have to head home, you realize finding a boyfriend didn't cross your mind all day. Oh, well, that's all right, I guess. Yay! At least I meet some people, so 
Thanks. That's the spirit. Thanks for calling in. Love that for him. Hell yeah. You know what? Who needs a boyfriend when you have gay gamers that you can hang out with? Time for a traffic update. You live in Haven. There is no traffic. <laughs> this has been your traffic update. <laughs> that's, that's a good one. I like that. That was good banter, Steph. Right, let's go see if we can find Lesbian Jesus. Where's she at? Where's she hiding? We also need to check the back room. We got a lot of jobs to do, man. Foosball Time war. Time to deliver good music. From the storage room to the masses. Someone just sent us a message. Violet? Ooh. Pop quiz, best Video Nasties album, go. The popular record or the underground? We're gonna go indie. We're a radio DJ. This is gonna sound super pretentious, but they recorded a seven inch back before they signed to Coffin Lid. And I swear to God, that shit rips. Lies and bad intentions? Nah, but good pull. It's not, it's got a super dumb name, Don't Shoot the Messenger. The monster is kind of also named Frankenstein if you think about it. Super dumb name, but accurate. Where are you from? What do you do? We'll go for what do you do. Okay, I'm gonna ask you a really boring question. Feel free to answer it in a not boring way. Well, okay, what do you do? Like in the burning passion sense or in the fuck I gotta pay rent sense? Your call. Barista by day, video college artist by night. Whoa, super not boring, lol. Thanks, your turn. Hmm, by day, I work at a record store. I'm a radio DJ. We'll go for I'm a radio DJ. That's the cooler portion, isn't it? I'm a DJ for the local radio station. Wow, that's so cool. Well, I mean, we have a broadcast reach of about six blocks, but I enjoy it. And by night, I'm a drummer, I'm a game master. We, she does play drums, but like, we've kind of talked about music when it came to radio and stuff, so we'll, we'll switch up. We'll tell her that we, uh, we're a nerd. Uh, these days, no idea. I used to play a lot of kingdoms and caverns. Allow me to totally embarrass myself by admitting I don't know what that is. <laughs> no big deal, nobody. Um, wait, 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 well, you're going too fast. Calm down, gays. You're moving too quickly. This gay can't keep up. Oh my goodness, that's a lot. They are into it. No big deal, don't be embarrassed. It's a tabletop role-playing game. Oh, with the dice? <laughs> We all know it because of these suckers. Um, well, among other things, you should teach me how to play sometime. I'll relearn it for myself first. Gosh, you are super fun to talk to. Ah, shit, I'm doing that thing I do again. Do what thing? You're also fun to talk to. I want to, I want to know. I want to know what thing. What thing do you do and how often do you find yourself doing it? Ugh. Developing an unreasonably powerful crush on someone within minutes of meeting them and literally all the time. I guess it's only fair to give you a heads up. You are not the first person I've done this with. It is a thing with me. If you can't hang with that, I absolutely get it. Just let me know and I'll try to dial it back. This, I, this, I was not expecting constant call outs from this game. I can hang. I think I can hang with that. Aren't super intense crushes kind of the point of this app? You sure? I don't want to scare you off. Crush away. Party A hereby consents to be crushed upon to whatever degree of intensity party B deems appropriate. Oh, hey, were you at Denver Pride this year? Oh, she, oh my, this, she is into it. So I don't drive and I also work all the time. So I missed it. How was it? Good, fun. Oh, but not like that fun. Death overrated. You didn't miss anything. <laughs> You're making it worse or it's okay. I really want to know. Give it to me straight. Are you going to make the obvious joke or should I? Well, give it to me, Kay, then. <laughs> Lol. I mean, you know, pride is pride. The parts that rule, rule. The parts that suck, suck. Tell me the parts that ruled. Tell me the parts that sucked. We'll go for the... I want to hear what sucked about it. Monetization. 
Probably guess what sucked, but tell me anyway. The usual, you know, overpriced beer, sunburn, no weed. Car companies suddenly pretending to qu care about queer folks. Same stuff that sucks every year. Still, it was nice, you know. Ugh, it sounds nice. Should probably go get ready for work. It's been super cool getting to know you. Too bad you live so far away. It's like, what, two hours from here to Haven Springs? Ask her out or say goodbye. You haul. You haul. You whole. You know what? Fuck it. If you wanted to grab a coffee sometime, I'd find my way to make it down. I'd really like that. Sure you don't mind. Violet, we are the inheritors of a legacy of lonely gays driving hours to meet up with one another. This is my duty to those who have come before. <laughs> Your reverence for our noble heritage has inspired me. If you'd prefer, I don't mind driving up to Haven. She did say she didn't drive. Come to Haven or I'll come to you. Come to Haven. Hang out. Let's fucking do it, Violet. For real? Then you should totally visit. Haven Springs rules. I think you'd like it here. Okay then, it's a date. Score! Damn! I need to start taking tips from Steph, man. Holy shit, we're getting so many matches. Are you kidding me? Janice with the, the snake. Usually I'm not one for snakes, but hey, if it's around a sexy lady's neck, I'll take it. Disaster queer? You're gonna have to explain that one to me. I mean, I'm queer, I'm a disaster. Ego, I'm a disaster queer. How are you a disaster? I forgot to get my driver's license. I winged my job interview. Driver's license. Okay, so for example, I don't have a driver's license, but only because I kept forgetting to sign up for the test. So, Disaster queer is just a self-deprecating way of saying you're like a free spirit or free spirit is a self Steph knows too big a word for me. Tiny brain, no thought, can't read. Way of saying you're a disaster queer, lol. I'm not really feeling it with this person. What's with the snake? I mean, I'm not really feeling Janice. I gotta ask about the snake. Oh, that? It was in Bali. This guy was charging for pictures with his snake and it was a really pretty snake. So you were in Bali. I kind of just want a ghost. This is harsh. Oh yeah, it's gorgeous. You've got to visit. She has no chat. I don't even have my passport, really? Oh my God, but traveling is the best. Crap, gotta run. I have a hair appointment in like 20 minutes. See you around. No worries, I'll see you around then. Ha ha, it was nice talking to you. Okay, bye Janice. Yeah, I'm not really feeling Janice. I'll throw it out there. Um, let me quickly check Janice's profile. I mean, she's cute, but she's not got like any chat. Give me a good book, a dry wine, and a plane ticket to a place I've never been and I'll be your BFF. Also, why are you saying like, why are you on a dating site and being like, I'll be a BFF? Like, I get it if you just want friends, like that's fair and valid, but like, don't send me love hearts if you just want to be friends, actually, Janice. Also, this definitely isn't just coming from a personal thing that I have, like, why do so many gays like to hike? I just want to be lazy. I just want to play video games with you. And like, I don't want to go for walks in the countryside every weekend. I don't want to scale mountains together. Like, tell me something more interesting than hmm, I like to travel and I like to go on walks. I mean, I know my life isn't that interesting. So maybe it's just that we don't have like a great, like, I don't know, great number of things in common, but like, come on now. Yo, what's up? What's your fave kind of music? Punk rock, ska, or indie rock? She's defo, I, I, I just hit my microphone out of excitement. It also feels very appropriate that I am playing wavelengths with the gayest controller I own. So yeah, I personally love ska and I also love indie rock, but Steph is absolutely like canonically an indie rock girl. So we're gonna say indie rock. Uh, achingly sincere indie rock, like, dang man, maybe go to therapy variety. You? I don't know if you'd think it to look at me, but I love 60s bubblegum pop. Can confirm I would not think that to look at you. But that's kind of rad. What do you like about it? It's just super simple. It, uh, just great hooks, perfect structure, everything a pop song is supposed to be. I totally get it. That's, that's cool. I can absolutely see the appeal. Hell yeah. Yo, I'm gonna hop off this app for a minute. Stuff to do, good talking to you. Likewise, be good out there, never.
<laughs> Bros. Yes, Cal. Is there anyone else I can talk to? No. I've still exceeded my daily limit. All right, we got a pride decoration Last thing I've got to do today is pack up all the pride decorations. No. That's sad. I don't want to do that. Figuring out what should and should not go in this section is the most riveting part of my day. <laughs> Surely, like, don't feed animal with an enclosure. It took me way too long to notice this. What? What animal? Do we have Valkyrie? Oh, we fixed, we fixed it. Do we have Valk? I'll catch up with you eventually, Chen. Anyway, I still need to add the tally for last night's match. Foosball war. All right, let's add to it. Man, that game was something else. Replay the game or skip replay. Replay the game, man. Do I have to play? Do I get to play more foosball? <gasps> Did they know it was going to be a fan favorite? And so they're better. giving. I might have to actually try this time. Okay. Try all you want. This is my game. I've got this. Pride the second time I played through this. Fall, Stephanie. Ooh, he's full naming me. Get it out there, Chen. Let's fucking go, boy. Um, second time I played this, I beat Steph every Ooh, Whatever you game. do, don't think about Jed in a diaper. Oh, dude. I said not to think about it. Goo goo gaga, Steph. <laughs> Let me pour you a glass of my top shelf formula. I'm not listening. <laughs> Where, Steph? He's Where'd you go, damn it? I haven't developed object permanence yet. <laughs> so, how's the fake psychic gig? Um, I foresee kicking your ass. Fake? Bitch, I'm getting a premonition right now. It's of me whipping your ass. <laughs> Did you just call me a... Oh, damn. What happened, Gabe? I thought you were going to try this time. <laughs> My hands were sweaty. <laughs> it's the poor craftsman who blames his tool. Go on, Steph. We're on a winning My streak. My first victory on the board. Not gonna make a big deal. Don't want to jinx it. I have to say, you get your ass handed to you by his little sister. Watch out, Gabe. I'm coming for the throne. <laughs> Dead foosball player. Well played, Gabe. Now, I will destroy you. He really spent his time doing that? Why is he like this? I love him. Oh my god, stop. Oh, it's killing me. I loved Stefan before the storm because she was like already out. Like she was already proud of herself. She like fancied Rachel and it was like just so nice to see. And then like now, like she's just got gayer by like tenfold and it makes me so happy. Like, look, we have like just a lesbian flag just chilling in the game. If Ducky doesn't pick up his Bobby Darren album, I'm sacrificing it to the big band gods. Gabe, bleed it dry. Margo, invigoration. Riley, water vapor under the moon. Ducky, that's all. Sam, yawn slash chemicals. Quinn, tipsy on you. And Charlotte, guess, guess, guess. See, our, uh, it's starting to fill up a little bit, man. Have I not unpacked my drums because I still feel guilty about leaving the band? Or am I just lazy? I would say it's probably a little bit of both, to be honest. Sex, drugs, and original pressings. Oh, we still got the we still got the uh, the collie poster up. <laughs> so we haven't done that much. If Summer were a person, she would for sure listen to reggae, and I would for sure have a crush on her. I went through a really big phase in uni of just listening to like reggae and ska. Love is love. That was also ironically the time that I got into surfing as well. Huh. Chef Betty's senior cooking class is getting popular. Beautiful arrangements, learn how to canoe and a running club. Love to see it. We don't, do we have the firewalk poster up yet? No, we don't. Chloe's favorite band, ma'am. Better sound quality but still a hard ass chair. <gasps> Wish I you had can, more to work with. You can see like the, the like shop growing and upgrading. Not the most effective cooling system, but in this heat, 
I'll take anything. And they have the progress fl uh, progress flag up on the on the door. That's well cute. Been getting a lot of folks saying good for you about these, but not so many takers. Hmm. All this labeling is giving me flashbacks to the thankless world of high school stage managing. What does it say? Breakup songs, soundtracks. <laughs> I thought cats were supposed to be low maintenance. <laughs> My cat hates me. Now what? A guide for new owners. It's such a gay mood that Steph literally just found a cat living in her walls and was just like, this is mine now. I, I am keeping this pussy forever. Thank you very much. Like, that's a lesbian activity. Snack time for Kitty. So you want to give your feline friend a treat to earn their trust. For first time owners, the most common mistake is trying to feed your cat on your turn instead of theirs. Tip, try placing your kitty's food or treats in a quiet, low traffic area where they'll feel safe eating. Cat treats, we've got Val. Maybe a handful of these could lure the cat out of the walls. Oh, okay, so she's still living in the walls. Oh my goodness. Where's a good spot to put these? Could drop a few treats there. Cats love windowsills, right? Or maybe over there? It's a nice quiet spot. Uh, on the windowsill or in the corner? We'll do the windowsill. Cats do love a windowsill, especially that one. Like it's in the sun. Consider it a peace offering. Pile of treats. Yum, yum. <laughs> they trying to convince your cat that they taste real good. Oh, we got thank it you card. It was genuinely my pleasure. Dear Steph, thank you very much for helping me sell my comic. I'm really happy that it's going well and I couldn't have done it without you. Sincerely, Ethan and Shah. That's so cute. Are you kidding me? Where are his comics? I thought we had them on like a, like a box on the front so that people could just take one if they wanted to. Holy crap. A memory? A week after we started the campaign, Mikey printed this new Elamon and sent him to me. And it rules. Of course Mikey owns a 3D printer. The great printer. and noble Elamon has been through many hardships. He's lost multiple limbs, died and come back to life who knows how many times. Elamon. Twelve. <laughs> but through it all, Elamon has always counted on one thing. Why do me and Steph Friendship, do the same deep voice the for love Elamon? love and care of a cherished friend. Wait, what? I mean, that's nice, Steph, but you know Elamon fights alone. Always has, always will. I'm talking about your sword. <laughs> oh, carry on. <laughs> is it the same? I don't know this, but I'm assuming it is. I'm going to watch Katie's playthrough of this anyway, um, after I finish mine. But I'm assuming it's the same voice actor. I'm not 100% sure if the same voice actor for Mikey has reprised their role, but I'm assuming they have. A week after we started the campaign... Mikey printed this, been working on some villains for this campaign. I may be biased, but they're fucking awesome. <laughs> Let's read them. Villains, Dragon Emperor Gravenrush. Lord of Sky and Bone, Gravenrush ruled the Scorch Wild with relentless fury, making meals of his underlings and the child sorcerer. A child. Many worlds knew the name Ol Olberon. It is spat like a curse or whispered in fear or yelled in agony, but it was always the same. A name for something most terrible, most ruthless. Heroes fought and fell against Olberon, regardless of his form. At times, he was a great spider, howling with a thousand moors. Other times, he was a black stag with fiery horns. But in Karai, Olberon took a more benign shape, that of a child clad in silver robes and wielding a mangled staff of pine. He began his path of domination anew, gathering his strength from behind the tussled hair and the fallen knight of Lark. Not gonna lie, I thought that was a critical role reference and then realized that's Obon and not Oberon. Never mind. Um... Durgaron, Minotaur Wardlord, heck yeah. Durgaron, born breaker of stone and trampler of root. He was the bad guy that we faced when we played in Before the Storm with Mikey and Chloe. Joined the horde of the Pale Bishop when he was old enough to heft an axe. He rose through the ranks thanks to his prowess on the battlefield and would eventually betray the Pale Bishop and assume control of his thirstless horde. 
The realm knew Durgaron for what he truly is, a monster. The warlord took no prisoners, left no field unraised, and would even butcher healers as they did their work. An unforgivable crime in the eyes of the tribunal. But what Dergeron wanted most of all was a worthy challenge, and in Elamon he saw potential. The Lost Priestess, Storm Lord Quixby. Mad Owl, Lunatic, Four Feather, Fool! The once renowned Chief Engineer Quixby was exiled from the Sky Council with a flurry of insults. They could not see the brilliance of his plan, the beauty of sacrifice. Quixby was the greatest engineer the Council had known in generations. His work was harnessed throughout the drifting roost to better the lives of its inhabitants. The sunbulb, the exo-wing, the list went on. But when he proposed powering the entire roost for seven lifetimes by collapsing a nearby planet that was barely inhabited, lunatic, they screeched. Oh man, Steph's so talented. Like, how are you going to be this talented? How are you going to play the drums and draw and play D and and video game oh she makes me mad i want to have i will never forget mikey's face when his acid blast melted the horse stall and he had to walk across the dead stretches crimson rock gate town the dead stretches holy crap that is a long trek as well man locals have known of the volcano's riches for generations every few years some foolish braggart ventures inside and is never seen again. Damn. Ooh. Must be one hell of a treasure trove. I say never seen again because they are heard. Their shrieks echo through the surrounding towns and canyon lands, the only evidence of their gruesome deaths. So are we talking jewels, gold, or what? Wow. The sound design on that was sick. Mikey's drawing skills have gone from rad to ridiculous since high school. Uh, says you, you approach Missy. approach a gate. On either end stand two stone guards in silent, yet somehow imposing vigil. I know this one. One of them always tells the truth and one of them always lies. Their eyes suddenly shine bright red as they raise their weapons. Trespasser, you will die. They bellow in unison. <laughs> She's still got oh, the GM voice. So they're both liars. This campaign has been, dare I say, epic so far. I'm so glad Mikey got us playing again. I to repay him, I need to come up with the most badass baddie he's ever seen. I'm down to three options. Time to choose. What? How do I choose? How do I do that? It takes a lot of work to keep one step ahead of Elamon. Drummer with a beanie. Oh, I wonder who that is. The Tunnels and Chambers Gathering Hall. Hey folks, I need inspiration. My principal player is getting obscenely good at guessing where I've hit a mimic. Chests, pots, cabinets, weapon racks. He just always knows. So let me hear about your best mimics or traps in general. This is my one vice, okay? Lord Master of Gelshire, I once put a mimic in the last treasure chest of my campaign, like the literal last chest they found after vanqu vanquishing my big baddie, undead alchemist trying to poison the world's mana stream, FYI, highly recommended. Needless to say, the party was pissed, but they never saw it coming. Walking Shadow Knight. Last year, I made a quest giving NPC turn out to be a mimic. His head split open into a bunch of teeth and everything. I probably broke a ton of law rules, but it was worth it. Mimics are lame. Use a cursed mirror and send them to the Shadow Realm. So satisfying. Orcus, Orcish booty shorts. K-R-C-T, the mountain. Oh, she's trying to come up with a little logo for them. That's cool. I like that. I also like the, the version of Photoshop that's going on right now. How do I decide on the big bad? Oh, here we go. Choose. All right. Which one of these baddies would be the ultimate challenger for the great and powerful Elamon? We have the child sorcerer. Durgeron. I mean, we've already defeated Durgeron. It would be a nice throw, but then I feel like if 
if like Chloe does how like somehow come back into it like I if I choose Durgeron does that mean like Chloe has more of a chance of appearing or does she like just appear anyway um I would quite like it to I, uh, I want to go back to Durgeron. I think I have to do it. Oh, do I want to do it? Like, imagine battling an owl, though. I mean, that would be fucking, pretty fucking sick. Oh, man. I quite like... I like the child sorcerer. Oh, this should not be a big decision. It's like, do I want to go back to, like, Before the Storm vibes? Or will it just feel similar if I go for Durgeron? But then, like, will it bring back good memories? I don't think it'll blow Mikey's mind. Okay, I'm gonna go for... I'm gonna go for the Child Sorcerer. I'm gonna go for Olberon. Why the heck not? Let's do it. Well, I've done it now. <laughs> Finally got my feral friend on tape. Told you, Gabe. That's not... Wait, wait. There, see? Not a raccoon. <laughs> That's definitely about. I could listen to that melody I've been tinkering with. Yeah. Original song. It better be. Square Enix. Deck nine. Oh, I'm scared. I'm scared this isn't an original song. I'm scared. Okay, so it's literally just the guitar string. I don't Not think bad. She's... Kinda sparse. But I dig it. I thought she was gonna sing Still on top of it. I feel like it's missing something though. She's gonna get her drums out, surely. It's drums, Stephanie. Okay. Hmm. It's good though. Guess it needs a hook. But what kind? Something anthemic. Something poppy. What the hell does anthemic mean? Like an anthem. Something like uplifting. So something uplifting or something poppy. Um God. Oh, let's go for it. Let's just go all out. Maybe let's go softy. Like a really anthemic hook. Something that makes you feel like you're putting your fist in the air. She's so sweaty. <laughs> uh, this is so really gross. turning into something. Melody, guitar or synth, hook, anthemic or pop. My god, we literally could have made Taylor Swift's 1989 if we had gone synth and pop. Hasn't been a lot of interest in sheet music. I should just clear it out when I have time. Honestly, if this is as bad as Cautious seems to think it is, I'm dying to hear it. <gasps> Bargain bin? When you're competing with the entire internet, you need to get aggressive. Less than your streaming bill. <laughs> Buy one, get eight. Oh my word. Discounted like crazy. Fewer, yes. But so many remain. We can still so make a fool. Drew this with Ethan. That kid is surprisingly fun. He's a big old nerd. Of course you were gonna love him. Hmm. No reason the story has to end here. Should I draw something else? Bald guy. Necromancer or ambush? Necromancer. Let's give these kids something worth running from. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> nice. Are we gonna say anything about it? Are we good? That's it. Okay, we're just gonna have a little, little gap Say right what here. you will about the 80s. Synth bass was a gift to humanity. I'm saying 1989, we could have done it, but we didn't. Um, my bad. I didn't, I didn't realize that we were gonna have a whole, 
a whole song by the end of it, you know? Actual mm. Haven teenagers <gasps> buying signed copies of Baynor is the most wholesome shit I've ever seen. No, Steph, you selling them is the most wholesome shit I've ever seen. Like the fact that she was just like, hey, print off a bunch of them, I'll sell them in the record store. Like, so I know I've had this discussion and I was watching um, the Life is Strange interview with Erica, Alex's actor. And basically like Erica, whilst I love her and I think she's done an incredible job at encapsulating Alex and is so very talented and like has all my praise. She did say that like Ryan was like the safe bet when it came to romancing because he was like strong and stable. But like also I think Steph is also strong and stable. I think Steph has such a caring side. Like she has cared about Alex non-stop since she got there and she clearly ridiculously cares about Ethan as well. Am I just a simp for Steph? Yes. Will I live by that? Yes. I've at least I'm constant. I simp for Steph in before the storm. Freaking Five years down the line, I'm still simping for her. By Ethan Lambert. Oh my god, that's her second name? I did not know. Thanor Monster Slayer and the Helm of Nava Dun. Harmon Comics, Comics Issue 1. Cute. He's adorable. Haven't been in there much. It's such a mess. What's on our calendar? We got a dog calendar. Why is there a lamp on? Why is there a lamp on this look shady? It's red as well. There's the synth. Is that a synth? I don't know. I don't Sweet. actually know what a synth is. Rare and valuable. Ooh, a mousetrap. Oh, it's an 80s keytar, sorry. Ooh, maybe it's time for a little record store archeology. span That must have been some party. Subby's music is now Rocky Mountain Record Traders. Jazz, rock and roll, rhythm and blues, folk, country and western. Come to our grand reopening, July 1st, 1968, from 10 till 8. Oh, wow. Cradle snack. I think my dad had their record. <laughs> That's so cool. Gosh, I love it. I've been in this place for a long time. You are cordially invited to attend the retirement party of Kashia to be held at Rocky Mountain Record Traders, August 13th, 2004. So that was what? 1968, 2004. What a badass woman. What the hell? Oh, That's so man. cool. Better leave that here or I'll be shaking it on the radio until I get fired. <laughs> I would also oh, do the same. I was afraid we were going to run out of boxes. Not more. I bet you've seen your fair share of bad haircuts, haven't you? I thought I said stick a bean then. I was eating those beans! But it says beam. That's not even close to enough stickers. The chairs. Valuables cage. Mousetrap. Ugh. Mice? Okay, mystery wall cat. Time to earn your keep. How, like, I was gonna say, how is Valk surviving in the walls? Like, do you reckon she is just like munching on mice? Like, what's what's going on? Also, what the hell? Why do we have a carousel horse? What's going on back there? Are we okay? What is that? Why does that exist? Um, there's also like a chandelier over there. Is that a mannequin I can see? The fat lilies. Oh, that's the Buddha. That's the Buddha sign. We definitely put that up because that's in the shop in True Colors. Free them. Okay. Gonna have to figure out a puzzle. My favorite thing about Life is Strange Great. Games. That guy's request is locked in here. And instead of a combo, I have four drawings. But like, why would... Why would, why would a Hailey Kiyoko record be in here? Like, I don't get it. Dear future Dave, we had to change the lock combo so past Dave wouldn't slosh Irish cream all over his rare records. Here's a hint, ghost star ice cream. Ghost star ice cream. Ghost star ice cream. Past Ashley and Luca. St. Patrick's Day. Ghost star well, ice cream. those drawings were meant to be a hint. Guess I should look around the store. Okay. Ghost star 
ice cream. Star. They have star glasses on. So maybe hmm. it's in here. Those shades are undeniably star shaped. I'm so smart. The ice cream was in the other room. I've already seen it, man. Ghost. I hate that I actually find this funny. Fume, thanks, I vape. I don't, I don't get it. I'm sorry. Ice cream. Now, if that's not an ice cream cone, I've been very confused my whole life. Hot Sam, don't cry. Boom, let's take that one. Taking this to look at later. I spy with my little eye. Five, um, eyes? Wild side pride. Why is that in the bargain bin? Borrowing this for a minute. Okay, we've got the, we just need the ghost. Say what you will about the 80s. Synth bass was a sick GTO. Okay, that is not, look at his chest <laughs> Um, why also does the one on the right kind of look like Ryan? Um, Ryan, is this you? What the heck? Uh, yeah, now we need to find the ghost. Uh, which is not over here by the looks of it. So let's check over this one. We got reggae. Is it in here? Any little ghoul. Man, that guitar's seen some shit. Nope. No ghost. Ortega, humble beginnings. Also, can we just take a minute to appreciate Steph's arms? Like, I know I keep going on about how much of an arms girl I am, but like, Steph is the reason I'm an arms girl. Like, look at her freaking muscles. You kidding me? I Those need to know like her workout routine. To me. Those are, I mean, it's a devil and an angel. I wouldn't say that ghosts in particular, but we'll we'll Grabbing take it. Grabbing this for reference. That's all four records. Watch your back, combo lock. Boom! I'm so smart. Look at me go. I will say the puzzles have been very easy in Life is Strange. True colors. Um, so something hidden in these. Minus the record guessing is game. to get me in there. Which I messed up. I should have just gone with my gut and knew that Steph was flying. Better with get me. code cracking. Um, okay. Let's pop this bad boy open. Wait, what? No, 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 no. I don't know anything yet. Okay, we need to look at the records, I'm assuming. Review. Now, if that's not an ice cream cone, I've been very confused my whole life. Hmm. Those shades are. Those oh, look like so we have to spy with my little eye. Oh god, five, um, eyes? Yeah, which is the first one? The first one is the ghost star ice cream. Okay. Now if hmm. ghost, those so I spy with my little ghost, eye. two. Five, um, <laughs> eyes? I wish you didn't say it every single time I scrolled to one. So it's two, four, three, ice. ghost star ice, eyes. I got it wrong. Two, four, five, three. Two, four, five, three. Two, four, five, three. Let's pop this bad boy open. Two, four, five, three. <laughs> Brain work. No, other way. Two, four, five. Maybe, maybe I've got this wrong. Who knows? Five, three. Finally, I can destroy Mordor and get on with my day. Boom. Oh, awesome. Here it is. This Love. Grady kid has good taste. Lesbian Jesus. Damn, that's really cool. I love how they've actually put Haley's on it. Yeah, that's sick. I love that. Haley Kyoko, Life is Strange I style. I can finally get back in the booth and play this record. If anyone still cares. How long has it been? It's been like two hours, I swear. This poor Grady kid probably isn't even listening. Honestly... I would, I would only listen to Steph if I lived in Haven. Like, I'd have such a crush on, I mean, I already have a crush on her, but like, I would be like texting in, trying to be like quirky, you know, you know how it is. Haley Kyoko. Desperate to know what comes next in life? Give me a call here at KRCT and I will tell you your future. 
Certainly not included may cause side effects such as boosted confidence, which can be fatal in rare cases. <laughs> that was so fast. That was like loser says what in when we were playing uh, thingy with with Alex. Are you kidding me? How can Katie talk so fast? Uh, okay, let's... more to offer than the Black Lantern bit of. A... I'm sitting in a booth talking to myself about pride. Cut I don't know what we're meant to do. World is an understatement, but this was a sweet message. I know it's not that much, but I have the memory of a goldfish. I don't know what we're meant to do. Feel like we've done everything that we needed to do. Ooh, we have a text. Happy Pride, Steph! Oh, we can reply. Thanks or ugh? Well, I'm gonna say thanks. Why would I say ugh to her? Oh, we need to pack up the Pride decorations. Yo, thank you. I'm doing my best to keep the spirit alive. Yeah, not a massive LGBTQIA plus scene in Haven Springs, Colorado, huh? Dang, look at you. You got all the letters right. I do try. <laughs> oh, she's so cute. I love Charlotte. The fact that she like is trying, like she's definitely like practice all of the letters in the acronym. Okay. This is gonna be sad. I don't want to pack away for pride. Guess when I'm done procrastinating, I'll go get that box ready to hold the decorations. All right, pack up decorations, man. I think we've looked at everything. Love is blind, but you are beautiful. Cute. Can we keep up the lesbian flag? I like it. This place adds a little looks bit. Great. Adds a little bit of color, man. I don't want to take it down. We should have pride all year. I'm just saying. Also, you should definitely keep the pins. I want to keep the lesbian flag up. I don't want to take it down. Also, please tell me that we don't have to burst balloons. I hate All balloons. Good things must come to an end, which means every pride decoration must come down. No! Let me keep up the Izzy lesbian flag. bought this flag. for my kitchen table. Our first pride together. Awkward. Just gonna put that back in the box. Cheers. You look happy. Just thinking about last week when the waiter came over and we stopped holding hands just in case. Oh, this is such good rap. My little lesbian heart. Fuck. It feels good not to worry about shit like that. Even just for one weekend. Yeah, one little oasis in the year where you don't have to feel like it's you versus the world. Bless him. Eventually, I'll get this hanging over my drum set again. Lesbian Happy drama. Pride, Seattle. Real quick, thank you guys so much for coming out tonight to support the LGBTQIA youth shelter. Also, I just want to say, holy shit, you all have made this the best pride ever. Literally ever. Oh, I kind of really wish we didn't have to take that one down. We have one more. This song is called Compton Cafeteria. One, two, three, four. Oh, that got me hyped and then nothing. <laughs> And then silence. Every time I look at this, I feel part of something. Portland Gay Pride Fest in 1980. Why do we celebrate? Why is it so important? For generations, we have had to live in hiding or reject who we are in order to protect ourselves. To this day, queer people live in fear. That is why we celebrate to show the world that we exist and that we are not ashamed. We are proud. Just having the courage to be here, to be yourself in this world, that is an act of rebellion, of resistance. I want to be her. Same. I wonder who Leo was. People are always afraid to take the ones Chloe made. Chloe made a be gay do crime? Stop that! Pride was a riot. 
gay with the anarchy symbol. I like how you can pick out exactly which of these are Chloe Price designed. Check out all these booths pretending they give a shit about us for one month out of the year. Oh, I know. <laughs> Come on, it's hilarious. We care so much, we made our logo into a rainbow. We're committed to hassling everyone, straight or gay. Would you two ladies like to become proud new credit card holders? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go mess with her. No, don't. Chloe, I swear to God. Oh my God, that makes me so happy. Steph and Chloe are still hanging. Oh my God. Hearing Chloe happy as well makes my heart so happy. Like after before the storm, Pride isn't over until the flag comes down. I think I'll save this for last. Okay. You got it, Steph. Oh my god, that made my heart so happy. I love these so much. Our lettering was on point. Isn't it weird? The event we look forward to all year basically boils down to sitting around on the grass all afternoon. Mate, it's a and great spending time. way too much money. And meeting cool people. And recharging my entire soul. Word. All right. Signs are dry. Let's go. Guess that's everything. But the flag on the front door. Okay. So I was like, is Leah? But her name was Lila, wasn't it? Who is Leah? Is she like a reference? I don't know. I, I was thinking maybe it was the girl from Life is Strange 2, but her name's Lila. So unfortunately not a reference to Life is Strange 2. Um, all right, did she say, I love how Steph walks. Like she looks like she's got like such a smooth little like swagger and then she like starts fucking power walking. There's so many flags. I have no idea what any of these mean. Gender queer pride, bi pride, pan pride, Lesbian pride. Uh, bear pride, I think. I look like a normie. <laughs> I should have worn something cooler. Stephanie, you look just like a 14-year-old homo at your first pride. Just like everyone else here once was. And they all think you're adorable. You don't need to try. You're exactly where you belong. Stop it. Baby Steph. Baby Steph is what a baby the hell gay. Are doing here? Hearing like Steph's like before the storm voice as well. Like obviously even though it's still Katie voicing Steph, like it sounds like her voice has like actually matured. It's wild. I guess it has been like five years and voice has definitely changed. Look, look at my old videos if you want an example of voices changing. I think this is going to be moving into autumn now. I think whenever we have a loading screen, it's like loading the next season. Um, so I think we're about to wrap up this part here. That was honestly way longer than I was expecting. Yeah, I see a pumpkin, so I'm gonna wrap up this part here. Thank you all so, so much for tuning in though. Like I said, this has been way longer than I was expecting. Like I was half joking when I saw that people had played through this in like four hours and then I tweeted out jokingly, like, oh, four and a half hours? I can make that last like five and a half hours easy. I think it might actually come true, but thank you all so, so much for tuning in. Again, I know it can be a little bit weird playing without music, but honestly, like some people were getting flagged even for the bar scenes in the original True Colors. So I didn't want to risk anything. I know like there was probably some silences here or there, like between me talking or between Steph talking. I actually really, really like this. It's kind of weird to just be playing like one person and not really like interacting with people all that much like no one's really come into the store or anything but I really like it for the fact that obviously we're getting to know Steph like so much more and I think she 
absolutely deserves this DLC. Like ever since before the storm, I've wanted to get to know Steph better. And now we have like a video game character who's like canonically a lesbian. And it's just like, it feels so sincere and like so authentic to my personal experience of like coming out and also like dating and like joking around with people and stuff like that. So I'm really enjoying it. I hope you lot are too. Let me know what's been your favorite bit so far. Also, no spoilers. I did just get super excited and spat all over my microphone. So sexy. But yeah, I appreciate you all so, so much. I'll be uploading the next part tomorrow. So don't worry, you don't have to wait too long. It's just, I didn't want this to be like six hours long, even though I know none of you would complain about getting Steph Gingrich on your headphones and screen for six hours, but I also am um, shattered. So I'm gonna take a break here. I also wanna savor it a little bit selfishly. I don't wanna play it all in one go, but thank you all so, so much. I appreciate you all and I will speak to you all in the next one. Bye now.